Okay, this is just to illustrate how you would set some natural ears. Natural ears don't always do what you want naturally. The worst thing that can happen is the ears will get a bend in the back cartilage. From the front, I'll see if I can get this ear to do this. These actually aren't bad ears. But you'll get a, an ear that looks something like that. Okay, and I, and I sometimes will call that a cauliflower ear. But what's happening there is the back cartilage is actually bending. If you can see that right there, that back cartilage is folding back, which is giving that illusion of an incorrect position. So especially during the teething process, it's very important to try and encourage the fold. Also, you can massage these folds uh, when the dog is relaxing um, it, and just encourage it to break. Now for this breed, the break should be just above the skull. So to glue these ears, you typically want to take the ear flap just below the corner of the eye, just so that when that fold is breaking, it's just a smidge above the skull. So we're going to show how you would glue these ears. First of all, you use a fabric glue, or this is actually tacky glue that I've got here that you would buy in um, a fabric store or craft store. And you need a fairly thick glue. Now I'm going to illustrate how you would glue these ears. And I'm just getting some of this glue out of here. As you can see, it's nice and thick. And I'm probably going to make a mess. And I'm going to hold this ear, and I'm going to spread the glue on the whole bottom triangle of this ear. Then I'll just hold the ear back, and I'll just add a little bit of glue to the cheek below the eye. You can just wipe any ex excess that you have on your fingers there. Then you take the ear and you point the tip of the ear just below the corner of the eye and pat it down and then you can just hold it firmly. And then we take we glue rather the other ear to match. So I'm going to get some more glue here again. This nice thick sticky glue. And we're going to do the same to the other ear. So I'm going to open up this ear and you do want to have some fur on the ear because basically you're gluing fur to fur. If it's shaved clean, the skin will not adhere as well and you try not to get too much glue on yourself and then I'm going to again just put a little bit on the cheek now I'm covered in glue and then I'm going to bring this ear down just under the eye and push it. Now you want to make sure that the ears are fairly uniform. So a couple ways you can do that. You can lift the chin up and you can look this way to see how closely those tips are aligned and in this case it doesn't look too bad. I'm going to have to turn her the other way just to see for a minute here. This one I'm just going to move slightly forward. So you can see those ears coming under her chin sit please that's a girl you can see those ears coming under the chin in a uniform way and now just while that glue sets we're just going to hold those ears once this glue dries it's going to become hard for the first few minutes um, you want to just encourage that glue to stick and just hold those ears firmly against the side of their head where you've got them glued and uh, that will adhere and hopefully stay glued for a period of well two weeks if you're lucky one week um, if it comes undone 
Once it's been glued for a week or so, I recommend leaving the ears loose for two to three days, letting them air out, watching the position of the ears, and then re-gluing them. Sorry about the noise in the background, but that's what happens when you have a house full of schnauzers. Yes, I hear you. And there's no pain, no fuss. This puppy is not in any discomfort whatsoever. All we're doing is encouraging the natural fold. Now, when these ears are glued and the puppy is at rest, if the puppy's stay on the couch beside you and resting, you can take this, your fingers and just massage the back cartilage here just to encourage the fold. Usually when ears go wrong, it's this part, the back cartilage, that is the problem. Sometimes it is the fold on top of the skull, but more commonly it is actually the back cartilage that folds inward 